in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. Welcome to the world of physics. Due to coronavirus, we have to continue our online class. Let me introduce. I am Mohammad Bukhudir Hussain Bhuya, lecturer, Department of Physics. At first, observe this diagram. And now think what you have observed in this diagram. And observe this diagram too. And now think what you have observed in this diagram. By observing these two diagram, you can guess the name of the chapter. Uh, actually, this is our third lecture and we know the name of the chapter is. And actually, this is a review class because we have taken two classes in uh, previously. And this is our third lecture and this is the overview of the whole chapter that is atomic model and nuclear physics. Uh, we are going to overview the whole chapter and outlines of this uh, lecture is a history of atom, nuclear and radioactivity, natural radioactive series, application of radioactivity and interaction of radiation with matter. matter. At first, the history of atom, I think all of you are about the history of atom. There is uh, various scientists have their contribution uh, to introduce different model for atom at first, we can uh, discuss about um, Democritus and he proposed an atomic theory allowing it his uh, mentor Lysippus, which states that all things are small, hard, indivisible, and indestructible. Particles made of a single material formed into different shape and size. And he named these small pieces of matter as atom and uh, meaning meaning of this word is uh, not to be cut that is uh, if the uh, if any substance are uh, that is small hard and indivisible uh, this substance is uh, termed as matter by democritus atoms to democritus atoms are small hard particles they are all made of this uh, of the same material but are different shape and sizes Atoms were infinite in number, always moving and capable of joining together. And Aristotle didn't support his, uh, support his atomic theory. Aristotle and Plato favored the earth, fire, air, and water approaches, uh, approach to the nature of matter. Uh, their ideas held a way because of their eminence of philosopher, the atoms the atom's idea, uh, atom's idea was buried for approximately 2000 year. And uh, next we are going to tell about, uh, discuss about uh, Dalton's atomic theory. That is all substances are made of atoms and atoms are small particles that cannot be created, divi uh, divided or destroyed. And atoms of the same element are exactly alike and atoms of different elements are different atoms join with other atoms to make new substance and uh, calculated the atomic weight of many various elements like 36 main element and was a teacher of a uh, at a very young age and he was uh, colorblind uh, this is all the information about john dalton and uh, this is all the symbol that uh, initially he have introduced that is all 36 uh, uh, atom that is uh, element that is oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon, uh, sulfur, phosphorus, gold, platinum, silver, and uh, like this, so and so, uh, uh, to zirconium. And uh, next, uh, we can, uh, come over to JJ Thompson, and he proved that atom cannot, uh, can be divided into small parts. And while experimenting uh, with cathode ray tubes, discovering uh, corpuscles, uh, which were uh, later called electrons, and stated that atoms is neutral. And 1897 proposed the Plumpotting model, and this Plumpotting model is proposed by 
uh, proposed by him and Thompson got Nobel Prize for this model that is plum pudding model uh, which states that small uh, that is atom mostly cons consists of positively charged material with negatively charged particle electron located throughout the positive material and he won Nobel Prize for his idea of plum pudding model and plum pudding model here the negative uh, negative negatively charged resins and positively charged uh, element and uh, this is the plum pudding model and catheter tube is like that uh, figure and here we have uh, two side and that is positive and negative and the source of electrical potential and uh, steam of uh, negative particle that is electron is uh, between the positive and negative uh, terminal and it is get gas filled and uh, between two side we have metal plate uh, one of them is positively charged and another of them is negatively charged and then we come over to uh, Ernest Rutherford and he is very much popular for his gold foil experiment and uh, it um, he suggested uh, that it, uh, uh, a matter that is uh, it consists of a small core or nucleus that consists most of the ma uh, mass of the atom and this nucleus is made of a particle called proton uh, which have which is have a positive charge and proton are surrounded by negative charge electron uh, but most of the atom is actually empty space and uh, uh, here are some information is the student of Jesse Thompson and uh, he was uh, uh, he won the Nobel Prize and he's the father of nuclear physics and uh, this is the gold foil experiment and uh, we take isolated sh uh, a lead shield and uh, beam of al alpha particle go through uh, any uh, uh, animator and we uh, uh, it penetrated the gold foil and we detected uh, detected the alpha particle by uh, scintillation and we observed that many of the alpha particle go through uh, uh, the gold file and we observed it and some of them uh, have deflected and a few, a very few of the par alpha particle scattered uh, 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 in a, uh, just opposite way. And uh, for, from this experiment, most of the positive charges uh, a bullet, a bullet passed right through the gold, gold atom of the sheet of gold foil without changing, uh, changing course at all. And some of the positively charged bullets uh, that is how we did uh, bounce away from the gold sheet as if they had uh, something solid and very few uh, get deflected greatly, even uh, fewer get bounce of the foil and uh, back to the left. And uh, uh, the hypothesis uh, introduced by him that is uh, he, this model is uh, analogous to the solar system atom model and atom is mostly vacuum and most of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus. This is all of the hypothesis that is introduced by uh, uh, Rutherford. And then uh, to solve the problems uh, within the uh, model of uh, rather for uh, we have uh, another scientist that is Niels Bohr and in 1913 uh, uh, Niels Bohr inter introduced a Bohr model which suggests that electron travel around a nucleus of an atom in orbit of uh, definite pairs. Additionally, the electron can jump from a path in one level to the path in another level depending on their energy and he uh, work with um, Ernest Rutherford and he won Nobel Prize for his idea of Bohr model and according to Bohr model that uh, electrons orbit, nucle uh, orbit the nucleus in circular path, uh, path of uh, fixed energy that is fixed energy level and uh, uh, you, uh, if a, a photon is emitted from uh, emitted by the electron then uh, we can observe uh, electron uh, comes from uh, one shell to another shell and uh, there are another model that is introduced by 
uh, Orange Schrodinger, and in 1926, he further explained the nature of electrons in an atom by stating uh, stating that the electron location of the uh, uh, exact location of the electron cannot be stated. Therefore, it is most accurate, um, accurate to view the electrons in visual called that is electron cloud, uh, cloud uh, and are placed uh, where the electrons are likely to be found. And uh, he introduced uh, a, a new equation that is Schrodinger equation and on Nobel Prize also. And uh, here the electrons uh, found uh, uh, not, will not found to exact position, but we, we can observe electron uh, in uh, uh, in electron uh, cloud, and uh, that can be more ac accurately uh, discussed and expressed by a wave model. And uh, then we come over to another scientist that is uh, James Chadwick. He discovered Newton in 1932 and he worked in Manhattan Project and uh, worked with Ernest Rutherford also and he won Nobel Prize. And the progress of the atomic model uh, that is uh, uh, in the center we have a positive charge and in the outer shell uh, uh, we have a negative electron. Uh, uh, electron cloud and uh, the structure of the atom according to this the according to John Dalton and in the very beginning of the civilization scientists uh, believed that uh, all the atoms uh, are made of, of uh, fire air water and earth and uh, we are going to discuss about the nucleus and uh, this, all the elements uh, of nucleus are uh, from uh, uh, First, 93 elements of the table exist naturally. The rest, which extend to 118 elements, were created by scientists uh, in atomic nuclear co collision with the uh, aid of a, uh, a particle accelerators. And uh, this is a periodic, a periodic table. And um, uh, I think uh, all of you have idea about isotope. Uh, isotopes are where the atomic number uh, is same for uh, uh, for uh, for the same atom, uh, uh, but it have different uh, uh, different mass number. Uh, um, if the mass num if the mass number is uh, mass number is uh, diff is the if the mass number is uh, same, then it is called isobar. And the, if the proton number is same, that is called isotope. And if the neutron number is same, then it is called isotone. And uh, isotopes uh, are here. Uh, uh, we can uh, symbolize the isotope that is uh, X for the symbol of the element, uh, that is the atomic number, and is the mass number of the uh, proton. And uh, isotope, uh, uh, isotope notation is indicated by uh, Z, uh, ZXA, and that is the atomic number, is the mass number, and X is the symbol, symbol of the element. And the uh, example for carbon isotope is indicated beside uh, beside a slide uh, in upper upper right side, and uh, uh, some other uh, for uh, for uh, dip, for uh, for uh, sodium, nitrogen, and argon, chlorine, and iron. Uh, for all of them, we uh, calculated the value of the proton, neutron, and electrons. And isotope example, this is the example of, uh, for uh, different isotope of uh, carbon element. And there are about, uh, there are about 400 stable isotope uh, in the nature. And uh, we may ask a question that is, uh, uh, is the nucleus the large, largest part of the atom? Uh, here, uh, protons and neutrons are packed together tightly so that the nucleus take up uh, only a tiny part of the atom. And uh, if an atom were the size of the football stadium, uh, its nucleus would be, uh, would be the size of the marble. Uh, this, is the, uh, anal uh, this is the exam example. And uh, we, uh, we can uh, uh, analogize this. Uh, uh, we can uh, consider the example to explain uh, uh, atom that is uh, here, uh, nucleus is uh, a little, little, little part of the atom, 
and uh, a proton or neutron has about 2000 times uh, mass of the um, uh, mass of the electron and uh, nucleus is uh, mm, uh, in the uh, uh, within nucleus uh, the main region uh, of the force is strong nuclear uh, strong force that uh, and uh, the uh, repulsion force is electrostatic force uh, that opposes uh, uh, in different uh, in uh, that opposes uh, to form the atom uh, but here the strong force is uh, much more, um, more higher than the electrostatic force and uh, for fundamental force uh, of the nature uh, you know uh, the name there is strong nuclear force electromagnetic force weak nuclear force and gravitational force um, and by strong nuclear force we uh, for, um, uh, there uh, uh, nucleus will be formed by strong nuclear force and the electromagnetic force uh, by, uh, we uh, we can form a, a atom by electromagnetic force and weak nuclear force uh, is the reason for radioactive decay and gravitational force uh, bind the solar system and here the strong nuclear force uh, i think uh, this is the information that you know previously and uh, here uh, for different radiation uh, that is alpha, beta, and gamma. And you, uh, here, the uh, repulsive, for, uh, repulsive electromagnetic force uh, in, uh, acted uh, among the uh, positive charges, and uh, uh, active nuclear force, that is uh, attraction force, uh, acted uh, acted in the nucleus and uh, from unstable nuclei we have alpha particle beta particle and gamma ray uh, the strong uh, strong force is exerted uh, exerted by anything with mass uh, that is proton and neutrons to attract other masses together and work within a very short distance uh, here we if we uh, 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 if we analyze uh, a proton and neutron, we can uh, uh, defragment uh, all these with uh, up uh, with different quark that is up, down, down, or uh, up, up, down. Uh, by uh, by this quark, uh, the, uh, we uh, we get proton and neutron, and uh, by combining proton and neutron, uh, we observe the uh, observing new uh, existence of uh, a a nucleus and there is a force that is a strong uh, strong force acted among themselves and uh, to form a nucleus uh, we need an energy that is a binding energy uh, separately uh, proton and neutron uh, we, proton and neutron uh, if they are uh, if, if they are distracted, and uh, and the basic constituent of the uh, basic constituent of the uh, nucleus is uh, proton and neutron, and the, if uh, if we add extra extra energy, that is binding energy, then we can uh, form uh, we can uh, we can form a nucleus uh, by uh, this proton and neutron, and uh, this binding energy to form uh, a binding energy to form a nucleus and if we uh, if the uh, here uh, nucleus uh, uh, nucleus uh, if you form a nucleus uh, that have smaller mass and if we separate the nucleus uh, they have greater mass and uh, uh, there is a mass difference between uh, the uh, between the nucleus and the separated nucleus and the missing mass is called uh, the mass defect and mass defect is converted into energy by Einstein equation that is equal to mc square and this energy is called nuclear binding energy and the greater the nuclear binding energy the more stable the atom and uh, this is uh, very much important for you uh, to uh, calculate uh, nuclear binding energy 
uh, we have equation that is equal to mc square for binding energy we have the equation that is del mc square and here del m is uh, the uh, del m is the binding energy uh, here uh, del m is the uh, del m is the binding energy that is uh, zmp plus mn a minus z minus m that is uh, mass defect and if we uh, multiply the mass defect by c square then we got the binding energy uh, it is a binding energy for uh, nucleus and uh, we have this equation and uh, we uh, calculate the value in amu unit and uh, from one amu we got uh, the energy that is uh, 931 mega electron volt and therefore binding energy is uh, uh, ca can be calculated by this equation and uh, we are going to discuss about fission and fusion. This is the nuclear fission reaction. Uh, that is, uh, if we uh, bombard a nu uh, nucleus with uh, with a small particle that is neutron, uh, and then we have uh, energy. Uh, we observe huge amount of energy, and this uh, uh, and this reaction is called nuclear fission reaction and it may be uranium and it is barium it is krypton and these are the uh, all three neutron and with these three neutron the reaction can be continued until the initial atom uh, finished and uh, here the stability nuclear stability can be uh, uh, can be described by this graph that is uh, along axis to x axis we introduce a proton number along y-axis we introduce uh, that is number of neutron and if the ratio is 3 to 2 uh, uh, then the nucleus will be much more stronger and this uh, uh, this rule is more uh, precise for large nuclei and all of known isotope of natural element about uh, 1500 only 250 of them are stable uh, if the uh, if the ratio proton neutron and neutron proton ratio is uh, one uh, three by two or one point five is to one, uh, then they st uh, stay together, and the nucleus will be uh, uh, higher stability. Uh, and uh, this extended form of uh, a, if uh, all these stable isotopes have an atomic number uh, between 1 to 80, 83 and uh, nu uh, a nucleon exists in different energy level or shell in the nucleus and uh, there are some other uh, competing nuclear energy level that is 2, 8, 20, 28, uh, 50, 82 and 1 to 26 are called magic number and uh, this is important these numbers are important for you to uh, uh, cause uh, they they show different uh, 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 differences uh, differences and uh, we uh, if we uh, put this below a versus n versus t that is uh, atomic number uh, atom, uh, atomic mass uh, of new atomic mass uh, here the number of neutron and along x axis we uh, put the value of uh, proton number and these all are the fellows uh, and this is the band of uh, stability and if uh, proton uh, proton and neutron number is equal then the ratio is 1 is to 1 and, uh, uh, and and this graph is applicable for 1 to 83 and if uh, greater than 83 uh, then we observe uh, we don't uh, do not observe the stable nuclei and uh, uh, then the nuclei is called unstable nuclei and the unstable nuclei is radioactive and this is called radionucleus and uh, uh, with the help of radionucleus we, uh, we uh, radionucleus undergo a process called radioactive trans transformation and this process the nucleus emit the uh, particle to adjust its neutron uh, to proton ratio and uh, this change uh, change in the uh, pro uh, neutron to proton ratio tend to move the radio nuclei towards the line of stability uh, here uh, here the transmutation is uh, shown Uh, 
element with atomic number of uh, 83 or less have isotope that is stable nuclear and most uh, have at, at least one radio isotope that is unstable nuclear and nucleus and radio isotope uh, radio tries to stabilize and it may transform into a new element in a process that is called uh, transmutation. And uh, we are going to discuss about radioactivity and a handy vector accidentally left pieces of uranium uh, salt in a uh, drawer in a photographic plate and he developed the photo photographic plate. He saw an outline of uranium salt on it and he realized that it must uh, have given off rays that uh, darkened the film and uh, discovery of the polonium and radium uh, by Mary Corey and his husband uh, Pierre Corey analyzed a ton of uranium ore and after removing the uranium uh, the radioactivity increased and this led to the discovery of the polonium more radioactive, uh, radioactive than uranium and named after the uh, here the home country of uh, Poland after removing the uh, polonium the radioactivity increased again and uh, this led to the discovery of the small amount in their uh, hand of radium. So radioactivity, ra uh, uh, so radioactive that is glowed in the dark. And uh, uh, these undergo a different uh, radioactive indicator that is alpha, beta, and gamma. Uh, and uh, from uranium, uh, uh, if it is unstable, uh, unstable parent nuclear. Uh, we, after the transformation, we have a daughter, a daughter nuclear, and uh, it, uh, through various process, and uh, here thorium is a daughter nuclear, and uh, the uh, DK, uh, DK is uh, helium, uh, and we have a ty different type of radioactive decay, that is alpha, beta, and gamma, and uh, ma many other Decay also found that is uh, proton decay, neutron decay, um, isomeric tra uh, transition, neutron capture, and uh, beta positive and negative, uh, and uh, spontaneous fission and internal uh, conversion. Here the emission of alpha particle from uh, polonium, uh, polonium to lead, and uh, we uh, observe a emission that is uh, alpha particle or helium nucleus and alpha emission uh, of a large unstable nuclei to small more stable nuclei and we observe alpha particle here and beta particle uh, for beta particle emission we have, we observe from carbon to nitrogen to a beta particle beta particle is uh, comparable to electron and for unstable nucleus uh, which tend to reduce the number of the neutrons. A neutron is converted into a proton and an electron. Uh, the electron is given off as a beta particle. And beta emission is uh, from carbon to nitrogen. And we have n to neutron and an electron also. Uh, these are process of beta emission. And uh, for beta emission, uh, beta plus emission actually previously uh, discuss about uh, beta minus emission that I uh, hear the uh, beta plus emission from if the uh, emission uh, from carbon to uh, carbon to boron and a uh, positive uh, beta plus uh, emission the beta plus emission uh, previously we observed from carbon to uh, nitrogen and here the difference for beta plus emission uh, the emission is from carbon to uh, boron and uh, beta plus emission is from carbon to boron and we observe a neutrino and a positron. Beta, beta plus emission is also uh, termed as a positron. Beta, beta plus is termed as positron here. And gamma radiation uh, of higher energy and electromagnetic wave like visible light except with a shorter wavelength. And from helium, we observe a gamma radiation of, of except with a uh, shorter wavelength, uh, wavelength and for higher energy nucleus, when it jumps down from a from an excess state to a ground state, we observe gamma ray emission. And here, 
uh, gamma ray emission uh, from uh, helium uh, 3 to helium 3 that is uh, uh, observe a gamma particle uh, or photon emission from uh, gamma particle emission from helium and uh, here it have uh, higher energy and it have lower energy cause we observe photon or gamma particle gamma radiation from here and uh, electron capture this uh, one kind of uh, nuclear phenomena and uh, uh, if uh, barium uh, is uh, captured a electron uh, beta particle uh, absorb a beta particle that is uh, uh, it form a uh, it form a lithium and a, uh, it's applicable for unstable nuclei and radioactive some other radioactive series is uh, here uh, we have two different uh, radioactivity that is natural and artificial natural radioactivity is spontaneous and unstable nuclear of particle or electromagnetic radiation or both resulting in the form of a stable isotope and artificial radioactivity uh, is uh, can be formed by the collision of two particle or collision of a particle like neutron with a atomic nucleus and may generate the unstable element from a stable one and we uh, from artificial um, radioactivity we observe nuclear fusion and fusion is uh, i think it's important for us and uh, you may have some idea about radioactive uh, radioactive series and uh, here for radioactive series uh, we have a parent atom and uh, after some half life uh, it becomes stable uh, from thorium to lead and uh, uh, from uranium to lead and from uranium to lead that is uh, some uh, diff, uh, we have different series that is thorium series neptunium series and uranium series and actinium series and uh, uh, at first we have 100 gram of any substance and after some time we observe 500 gram of that substance that that means uh, it have half-life uh, 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 here the time uh, time taken to uh, uh, take, uh, taken to um, uh, from 100 gram to 100 uh, 1000 grams to 500 gram uh, this time is uh, termed as half life uh, for that element and uh, this is another half life and this is another half life and uh, with the help of uh, these uh, uh, nuclear decay uh, we can describe half-life of uh, half-life and here uh, uh, we, uh, at first we have 100 gram then uh, for one half-life we have observed 500 gram and after another half-life we observe 250 grams and for another half-life we observe 120 125 grams of that atom at first the neptunium series from neptunium we uh, have uranium, thorium, radium, actinium, and poly, uh, polonium, uh, and lead, and uh, titanium. Uh, this actinium series, and in fact, uh, three radioactive series are recognized uh, from uranium, actinium, and uh, thorium, in which heavy element loss mass and charge their uh, charge their atomic number in successive steps and uh, uh, radioactive series that uh, in nature the radi uh, radionuclides in these uh, three series are approximately in state of equilibrium in which the activities of all radionuclides within each series are nearly equal and uh, uh, we have uh, Another term that is a radioactive equilibrium. If a half-life of a parent is longer than that of the daughter, then after a certain time of a condition of equilibrium, uh, equilibrium will be reached. And uh, that is the ratio of the daughter activity to the parent activity will become constant. And for uranium series, we have uranium, thorium, 
radium radon polonium lead and uh, we finally we observe a observe the dot nuclei uh, from uh, the parent nuclei that is uranium uh, actually uranium series is only uh, uh, only presented in your uh, textbook and uh, the 95 percent of the radioactivity from uh, uh, is based on uranium series and uh, here we have another series that is actinium series i think uh, from here the parent atom is uranium and daughter is uh, lead uh, our final product is same the uh, but uh, here uh, from uranium we have uh, protactium thorium actinium uh, that is uh, uh, actinium and uh, radium francium radon and uh, astatine uh, polonium, bismuth, and lead. And this series is termed as actinium series. And our other series is thorium series. I think all of them are uh, nearly same, uh, but a slight different. And uh, here, uh, we started the series from thorium. And this, uh, we named this series as thorium series. Here, the parent atom is thorium, and uh, our daughter atom is lead. And uh, nuclear radioactivity. Uh, here we introduced three different series that is uranium, thorium, and actinium. And application of radioactivity is uses of radioactive isotope and interaction of the radiation with matter. And it ionizes and uh, it produces particle that is charged and un uncharged particle. And it may be a heavy and light particle. Here alpha particle, e, alpha and proton is a heavy particle and electron proton is a light, per, a light particle and uh, here uh, for radiation we uh, that uh, here uh, to discuss about proton beam interaction the process is uh, we have to know about attenuation absorption scattering and transmission and the definition is uh, shown uh, beside the process and the process uh, 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 causing attenuation that is uh, coherent scattering, photoelectric, Compton effect, prior production and photo disintegration. Actually, uh, this process will uh, discuss in chapter eight uh, and uh, we have uh, two different collision that is elastic and inelastic collision and uh, radiative uh, red, uh, uh, radiative uh, collision of electron that is when an energetic electron penetrates uh, the target material and loses very loss to the nucleus uh, in the target material and it is deviated by the electromagnetic interaction so the incident atom loses uh, much kinetic energy and the proton will be emitted here and the interaction of positron is uh, free annihilation and the formation of a uh, positronium atom and interaction of heavy charged particle with matter that is uh, interaction of alpha particle and proton with matter and here heavy particle uh, that is uh, of positively charged and uh, can be absorbed or emitted by this uh, process and the heavy charged particle pass through the target atom and give up a part of the uh, part of uh, a part of uh, into kinetic energy and the interaction of proton uh, that is gamma ray with matter that is uh, here uh, three processes shown that is photoelectric effect compton and pair production i think uh, in chapter eight uh, these three process i have discussed uh, uh, elaborately and here we shortly just know the name of these uh, uh, inter interaction of, of photon that is uh, here three effect is observed here and first uh, is a photoelectric effect I think uh, for this chapter it's not uh, uh, for this chapter uh, we just know about uh, the name that is photoelectric effect uh, compound effect and uh, uh, pair production uh, if you just know the name, uh, that will be enough for this chapter. But in chapter eight, uh, you will be 
uh, you know, we'll, uh, we will discuss these uh, three effect that is photoelectric effect, component effect, and pair production. Um, and here, the some of the question for you that is uh, unstable, nu uh, stable nuclei undergo this process to uh, become stable. And the uh, the question two is, uh, it is it is a kind of decay where two smaller nuclei coming together to form a more massive nucleus. And is a kind of decay where one massive nucleus separated uh, when bombarded by a neutron. And uh, it is a kind of decay which uh, where the atomic mass of the data nuclei decreased by two. It is a kind of decay where the atomic mass of the data nuclei increased by one. And keep in mind that one mu, we uh, have 931 mega electron volt and mass of the proton and mass of the neutron uh, are shown here. And I think it will be helpful uh, to solve mathematical problem. At first, we are going to discuss about alpha decay of uranium. Uh, from uranium to thorium, we, uh, here we have reactant and product and mass of the reactant and mass of the product. And uh, uh, here the difference between the mass of the reactant and product is uh, uh, mass defect, uh, is a difference between mass of the product and reactant. And if we uh, multiply the mass defect in, with C squared, that is, we observe uh, binding energy and this mass, uh, mass defect convert into energy uh, that is binding energy. And uh, fission of uh, uranium, uh, we have uh, reactant and product and mass of the reactant and mass of the product. And uh, uh, in second step, we uh, uh, calculate the difference between mass of the reactant and the mass of the product. And uh, the difference between mass of the reactant product is called mass defect. And we convert this energy, uh, 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 convert, uh, convert this mass defect into energy uh, that is binding energy. And mass defect is the difference between the mass of the product and the reactant when reaction takes place. And binding energy is the mass defect in term of energy. And binding energy uh, is uh, uh, compared uh, 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 for alpha particle, uh, uh, alpha particle, the binding energy is 5.4 mega electron volt. And for fission reaction, we observe the energy uh, that is much more higher, uh, that is a 206 mega electron volt. And where does the uh, missing mass go in a fission reaction? What is the application of the mass defect in binding energy? I think, uh, you know, uh, from the missing mass, that is mass defect, we uh, we got the energy that is uh, from this reaction, and the, this is the uh, this is kind of uh, binding energy. And the assignment for you, uh, here uh, we have to know different mass and charge of the uh, uh, particle that is ele for electron proton neutron uh, and definition of nucleon atomic number and mass number and size of the nucleus can be uh, described with the help of this equation that is r proportional to uh, a to the power one by three that is the final equation is r equal r naught a to the power one by three here the value of r naught is constant and the value is 1.48 into 10 to the power minus 15 meter. And with the help of this equation, we can uh, calculate the value of the nucleus. And uh, atomic mass unit is equal to 1.66 or uh, 6 into 10 to the power uh, minus 27 kg. And this is a mass for proton, electron, neutron, and hydrogen. Uh, I think uh, you have to know all, all the masses to calculate. Uh, the binding energy and uh, we have an equation that is uh, 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 that is interest, uh, introduced by Einstein that is equal to mc square and here uh, uh, for 1 mu we observe the energy and that is now 931.5 mega electron volt 
uh, at first we observe the energy in joule unit and then after after we convert it into mega electron volt unit uh, here uh, we know the different uh, what is mass defect it actually it's the difference between the rest mass of the nucleus and the sum of the rest mass of its constituent nucleons and uh, if we uh, convert the rest mass uh, uh, mass defect into energy and uh, this is called binding energy and the binary energy can be calculated by the equation that is uh, equal to mc square here m is the md is the mass defect and we have a, a graph that is uh, binding energy binding energy per nucleon versus uh, mass number and we observe this graph for binding energy uh, binding energy binding energy versus mass number uh, and here uh if the element number is uh, element atomic number is higher than 82 in the periodic table then uh, the element will be radioactive and it's discovered by henry Becquerel in 1896 and we observe alpha beta and gamma uh, radiation for different radioactive element and laws of uh, radioactive disintegration is a rate of change of uh, radio, uh, disintegration is proportional to the number of uh, atom present at any instant and uh, finally we have the equation that is n equal and not e to the power minus lambda t and uh, this is the uh, decay law for radioactive uh, element and it is also called laws of law of uh, radioactive disintegration uh, or nuclear decay law that is n equal and not e to the power minus lambda t and we have uh, equation for half-life that is t equal to uh, 0.693 by lambda. Here, lambda is in disintegration constant and t is the half-life. And general properties of nucleus uh, is, uh, can be described by the equation. Previously, we see that uh, equation that is r equal to r naught into the power 1 by 3. Here, the value of r naught is 1.4 into 10 to the power minus uh, 15 meter and uh, density of uh, of the nucleus is uh, nuclear mass divided by 4 by 3 of pi r cube and uh, mass difference and nuclear binding energy uh, here mass defect is the difference uh, uh, difference of the reactant and the product and uh, by converting this mass defect into energy we have the binding energy of the nucleus uh, and uh, previously we also saw, uh, discussed about nucleus, nuclear forces and it's the repulsive force uh, uh, between proton and inside the uh, nucleus and nuclear uh, force overcome with this repulsive force to give a stable nucleus and uh, Mason theory can be, is described by Yokawa actually it's not uh, discuss in your textbook but for additional information you can just read out the information for uh, that is Mason theory of a nuclear force by Yoka uh, by Yoka the Mason theory is uh, discussed and uh, we have pi plus minus and pi zero Mason and uh, we discuss about nuclear fission reaction and it is disc uh, discovered by Otto Hahn and Strassman in 1939 and nuclear fission reaction, uh, we observe a large amount of uh, energy is liberated by a nuclear fission reaction. And th theory of nuclear fission and liquid drop model. Uh, here uh, we uh, bombarded a uh, uranium by a neutron. Then we observe barium krypton and three newton and huge amount of energy. And with the help of nuclear fission theory, we can describe. Uh, for the the issue of the energy and uh, this uh, kind of nuclear fission reaction uh, is here uh, this is the example of nuclear fission uh, for and for nuclear fission uh, uh, is the formation of a heavier nucleus uh, by fusing two light nuclei uh, it's just opposite to the nuclear fission we are uh, going to discuss about a uh, nuclear fusion in nuclear fusion, uh, a large nuclei uh, will be formed by fusing two light nuclei. And uh, here, 
uh, sp we uh, can also spontaneous fission uh, for radioactive nuclei and uh, we uh, 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 here it is spontaneous fission uh, and it is induced fission because we uh, we, dis uh, we disintegrate uranium with help of neutron and uh, we bombarded uranium with the help of neutron there's uh, and then finally we observe a fission and this fission is called induced fission and previously uh, here the fission is spontaneous fission and this fission is uh, termed as induced fission and uh, nuclear uh, fusion uh, here two small uh, a small nuclei combined together to produce a high nuclei and the huge amount of energy and hydrogen uh, uh, or proton fusion uh, uh, here a uh, light electrical charge ripples so proton in a gas avoid collision and uh, uh, they also fuses together uh, and we have uh, two um, uh, two different uh, here uh, uh, to new keyword that is antimatter and neutrino. I think I uh, just read out this information and it will be helpful to understand what is antimatter and what is neutrino. Uh, actually, this term uh, is widely frequently used, uh, and here the definition of antimatter and neutrino is given. Just read out this information, and we have uh, two emission that is beta minus emission and uh, a beta plus emission from carbon to nitrogen we have beta minus radiation and from uh, carbon to boron we have uh, beta plus uh, beta plus decay uh, that we have discussed previously and here angular momentum uh, particle number and the energy are not uh, conserved and charge and the mass number are conserved here uh, here uh, we introduce neutrino to balance uh, everything. And homework for you, observe this uh, diagram and uh, uh, by using uh, this graph, uh, average life is given for element X and uh, try to solve this question. Uh, first question is what is binding energy? Second question is why does light, uh, light wave get polarized? Uh, but not sound wave and the third question is calculate half-life of the element and so last question is does the graph of the above stem or be radioactive decay law uh, you can analyze uh, by using our data uh, and try to solve this question by yourself and if you may have some question uh, based on our topic and uh, actually we are uh, trying to review the whole chapter uh, once again I think it will be helpful for you to understand the basics of the chapter and uh, try to solve uh, mathematical problems and um, solve the homework that I have given previously and hope for the best. I think all of you will uh, able to solve the mathematical problem or any other problem based on this chapter. I think uh, this chapter is much more easier if you have some concept uh, of radioactive decay law, half-life mean life and uh, uh, half-life mean, li uh, mean life and uh, nuclear fission fusion. Uh, and mass defect and binding energy and binding energy per nucleon. These all are the uh, information that we have discussed in our previous two classes. And uh, this is our overview class. And we discuss these terms once again uh, for your better understanding. And uh, be aware about conscious about coronavirus. And thank you all for joining with us. Allah love us.